this is a review of the QJ 4x4. Uh, I bought this off pickhead.com and in the five or six days I've had it, it's got a lot better. At first I thought it was um, too well, it was too much friction and it wouldn't slide probably. Um, especially the half turn. The um, outer layers are now very, very loose, but not too loose. The inner layers are moving better, but still doing a middle slice is difficult. But I think with more time and more use, it will get better. Um, the stickers, the stickers are good on it. There's a good plastic coating on it. I can't see them coming off anytime soon. Probably be better with tiles, but I know you can order tiles. Uh, there's the UJ logo. Show. Um, it feels incredibly sturdy. Um, it, I, I, you do very, very well to pop it. I can. You could take a lot more, and you'll need something to prise out one of the pieces to look inside. The um, the core comes pre-lubricated. It's a ball core, which which is better than the Ishin ones. Well, I think so. Anyway, it moves uh, better and feels just tighter. It doesn't feel like you can do anything wrong. However, uh, there's very very little undercutting. That's probably as far, which actually isn't too bad. The more you use it, the more it will get better. At first, it wasn't at all. Of course, no, no undercutting, but that's to be expected with a 4x4. Um, overall, very good for the price. I would recommend this. Um, the only, well, another thing is the uh, the 4x4 of this, the QJ1, is somewhat less. It's a lot, quite heavier than the. Ishin type. This isn't an actual Ishin 4x4, but it, it's um, an Ishin type. And obviously, you can loosen the tension with these if you, you um, can open up and see inside the screw there. So you can, you can get a screwdriver and uh, loosen the tension on this, whereas I can't anyway. I haven't been able to, and I've looked inside and taken it apart. Can't find a way to loosen the tension on this. But it doesn't need it too much, but if it was if it moved like this, then I'd be much happier. I think I could get quicker times with it. Um, on the subjects of time, it, at first it's about I'm uh, not too great on my four by four, but I could do this in about four and a half minutes. Um, my first couple on this were around six minutes, but they've gone down to about five. Um, so I'll do a solve for you now to show you what it's like and how it solves. There we go, scrambled. Now I'll do a quick solve. I'll try, I won't chime it because I'm not too fast.
And there we go. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how long that was. I'll check when I edit the video and put it in. I think that was about four, about my average really, four, four and a half minutes. Um, yeah, so I would recommend this cube. It's it's good and sturdy. You're never going to pop this really. Um, in terms of speed, there are some cubes which are faster, but for this price, I'd say that it's definitely worth getting. I think for me it was about four pound, four pound. So yeah, definitely recommend this cube. Thanks for watching.